Hi, my name is Dave Nicoletti. I'm the technical trainer here at Clark Material Handling in Lexington, Kentucky. And today what I'd like to do is introduce you to the Ford 2.5 liter engine that we are introducing into our Gen 2 series lift trucks. The first thing I'd like to show you is how easy it is to expose the engine to open the engine compartment by releasing the operator seat deck with our new hip restraint seat that we have on this truck. Okay, You collapse the seat, bring the seat forward, release the seat deck, and it springs up and locks in place. The first thing that I'd like to tell you about is the engine itself is both high pressure die cast aluminum head and block. That does a lot of things for us. First off, it increases engine longevity because both the block and the head heat up at the same rate and when they cool down, they contract at the same rate, which allows the soft parts of the engine to last longer. It also increases our fuel efficiency because they heat up at the same temperatures. One of the other things that's in this engine that you can't see is we use the variable valve timing the Ford has introduced on this engine. In the Hyundai engine, we got rid of it. We didn't use it. But on this one, we decided to keep it because it gives us better fuel efficiency and fuel economy by changing the actual timing of the intake valve in the strokes of the engine. We don't change the lift of duration, but we change when we open and close the valve. The next thing I'd like to talk about is, and it's also unseen in the engine, is we use timing chain, metal gear, and tensioner, okay, in the front case. What does that mean? That means you're not changing a belt anymore. And with metal gears, you'll probably never have a problem in the front cover. It is an interference engine, but that is nothing to worry about because of the metal gears and timing chain and automatic tensioner. The next thing I want to tell you about this 2.5 liter Ford is we also use a cotton core radiator that's made of copper. Okay, so it's copper with cotton core. What's cotton core? It's got wider spaces in the cooling fins to allow bigger particles of debris to pass through. It's not a serpentine that traps it. It's cotton core, it's in line, and it makes airflow through the radiator much more efficient and helps to cool better. We use an EMCO multi-port sequential fuel injection on this lift truck. It is a common rail, okay, that is hard mounted to the head and the injectors are bedded in the common rail. Uh, it is an EMCO fuel system, a very long and trusted name in LP gas technology and it's very robust. I am excited about this fuel system. This engine also utilizes a reverse flow cooling system and it's just like the system we used on a Hyundai engine. The, the thermostat and water pump were on the front end of the engine and the thermostat meters the cold coolant from the radiator and mixes it with warm coolant from the engine. That virtually eliminates the thermal shock of the engine. The water flow is divided evenly over the head and block so the head and block come up to temperature together. All right? And then it exits out the rear of the engine on this manifold right here. All right, the flow leaves the manifold, comes out through the pipe, up to the top radiator hose and back into the radiator. The engine also utilizes a pent roof combustion chamber. Pent roof is important because it gives us more surface on the head of the combustion chamber, which allows us to put more valves. We use four valves per cylinder. This is a 16 valve dual overhead cam, an intake and an exhaust cam. Because of that, because we have more valves and because of the pent roof design, it drives up the volumetric efficiency of the engine itself. Along with that, it improves fuel economy and efficiency. And you can include that with the reverse flow cooling. We are able to increase the compression ratio to 9.7 to 1, which means more power for the end user. One of the extras we've thrown in with this engine is an enhanced dash. On this lift truck, the one with the 2.5 liter Ford, you can read fault codes out of the dash without using the pedal. It's in the programming in the dash. So if you've got a check engine light, the operator, the technician does not have to remember pedal pumps or anything like that. 
he can go into the programming of the dash and read default codes. Now, the one thing I want to mention about that is we no longer list the P codes. We use SPN codes, which is a much better code, much more detailed, and gets you to the problem quicker. We've also included extended maintenance with this engine. Uh, we can extend the maintenance intervals out to 500 hours as long as you're using the Clark approved engine oil for the engine. Now, I want to stress that is a maintenance interval on the engine. It is not a PM on the truck. The truck PM still remains zero to 250 hours depending on the operation. This engine also includes a balancer. This is a balanced engine. There's no vibration like was in the Hyundai, all right? And to demonstrate that, this is the shot that I've been waiting for, is I'm going to show you, with this balanced engine, there you go, our balanced engine. Very little vibration at all. You can't even feel it. It's so small. Now that I've told you about the Emco fuel system, I'm going to walk around to the other side of the truck so I can point out some key components of the Emco sequential multiport fuel injection and also the reverse flow cooling so you know where they're at and what they do. This is the Emco vaporizer. It is a single stage vaporizer, reduces from tank pressure to a usable pressure. Right here is the engine coolant lines, in and out coolant lines. This is your LP gas lock off, okay? But, and your fuel inlet line is right here, all right? And right over here is the fuel outlet line to the common rail, which is hard mounted to the intake manifold. And then the injectors come off of the common rail and inject fuel right into the intake manifold right before the intake valve of the engine. Then up in front of the engine down in here is the water pump, the engine coolant water pump mounted to the back of the water pump is the thermostat. The thermostat meters the cold water in with already warm water in the bypass chamber and then it is pushed into the engine block and head evenly at the same time and at the same flow rate. So both the head and the engine block come up to temperature at the same time. So that's the features and benefits of the 2.5 liter Ford engine and Emco fuel system that we here at Clark are very excited about. And we hope you're gonna be excited about it also because of this engine and fuel system, you'll get better fuel efficiency, more power, and with that, you can hopefully sell more Clark lift trucks.